All right, here we go. The next part, the next, I uh, guess I'll upgrade these guys while we're just sitting around. Um, all right. And speaking of sitting around, these guys aren't gonna be doing a whole heck of a lot of everything. I guess I'll move them somewhere else. I'd say after we finish our European war, I'm gonna have to fight the, uh... no, but won't I be able to have half the world at that point? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should have made him my vassal, and by him I mean somebody else. All right, anyway, let me move my bombing force up here. Okay. There's another delicious uh, resource fortress. Do we need, are we, are we set? We're pretty much set. Are these two guys. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have them spring into action, but not quite yet. What are we doing here? Oh, I see. That's nice, but the only way we can attack these guys is from the sea, which is why I'm building that transport right now. Um, all right, fresh troops in here. And what do they got? Ah, it's kind of annoying because I want to attack out, but I really can't right now. I don't think it'll let you destroy. I don't, they don't let you, uh, what's the word for it? Destroy roads like in the last game, which could be very useful uh, to hamper your enemy's mobility. Obviously, right? What else would it be to do, right? All right. Oh, look at these poor guys. Well, in any case, we did all right, I suppose. Let's go ahead and look. Um, well, I'm gonna have this guy fly a bombing mission anyway. Oh, only six in there with capital? That's kind of a wimpy capital. Don't seem to have a lot of troops anywhere else, though, by which to work their wicked magic, which they worked quite well. You had to give them that. Well, not really, though. They, if they had followed it up, we would have been in big trouble, but uh, they didn't, and so we weren't. Okay. Oh, we shot down an English fighter. That's good. That's, that's real nice. Is that it? Yes. No, they still got one more. So I don't want to mess with it too much. All right. I think we need to get moving regardless of anything. Yeah. yeah. Just go ahead and move up the road here. What do they got here? Not a whole hell of a lot. Mostly. Whoa, hello. All right, so I'm going to have to do something about that too, which is also rather annoying. Well, I lost a, lost an aircraft again. Well, that's what happens when you're uh, too cavalier about what you're doing, you know, which is certainly the case for me. All right. Oh, we got a great merchant. Well, I can't do a whole hell of a lot with him right now because everywhere he could go, he'd get killed in. Because it's just that kind of, it's just that kind of, kind of deal we got going. Um, I need a tank somewhere as well. Uh, we finally get those spices though. There's a little bit of good news for us. Actually, we've got all kinds of good news. We shouldn't complain too much about uh, momentary you know, uh, setbacks or whatever. We're still looking pretty good. Uh, I guess I could send this bomber over here to England. There we go. It's nice that they can pretty much just fly transport flights all around the world. You know, which is not 
quite real. I think there is some limitation on it, but I get it's big enough that it really doesn't matter. It's it's that kind of limitation. Like, this is how far it can fly, and like, tech. This, so I mean, it practically, it makes no difference. So there you go, which is fine, but you know, of course, not very realistic. Which, yeah. Oh, I see. I, I kind of forgot what the hell he was doing. I was like, what, what is this guy hurt for? He's all the way over here. And then I remember. So very nice. All right, let's defo uh, deforestrate. <laughs> Deforestration. Uh, something like that, right? Yeah, these bombers uh, need... Uh, what's his name? Something to bomb on. I guess for lack of a better term there. Look at anybody putting out bombers, by the way. Look at people putting out tanks, which is good. We could use more tanks. Tanks, wealth, docking bay. All right, well, let's, let's get a little bit more of war material production, please. If you don't mind, guys. I mean, I know we're building all kinds of great stuff, like basically wealth to proc up proc up, proc up my crappy economy, but uh, still, uh, right now, everything's for the war, the, the never-ending war, the war where we're trying to basically take over the entire world, which of course, this in real life would not be feasible at all, because anywhere we take over would have massive, like, what's the word for this uh, Vesparyotki, um, Holy crap, I only remember the Russian word. Massive unrest. There you go. I mean, people would rebel against this, and we'd have to fight them tooth and nail, which would cost a lot of money, which would tie up troops and resources, which would not allow us to continue our mad drive for world domination. Luckily, this game is nowhere near realistic. Oh, wait a second. I guess I can get that oil in a second here. Uh, let me build a coal plant. Be great. Very good. Right. Yeah, those enemy airships, they can cause problems. So this one here, this tank, I'm gonna need I'm gonna want a tank to be over here. Okay, these guys need to rest up, I suppose. So I'm gonna I'm gonna lay off the the air attacks for a little bit because I don't I don't want to be losing my aircraft. I don't really want to lose anybody, but uh, certainly I'd like to shepherd my my air resources as much as I can. I mean, obviously I want to put them uh, to good use, but then again. All right, you guys all ready to move? All right, I think some of you guys could use a little healing, but that's okay. It'll come out in the wash. All right. Uranium, please. Mm, grab that gold, grab that coal. They're all worth something. Even if we can't use them directly on that square, it's still, it's still worth something to us, you know? Excellent. All right, you two guys, get up here so you can help up. Help out, help up and help out and help in. And another direction of help, I guess. I usually leave him there for now because I have nothing to do with him. All right, and where else does genius go?
we've got our paratrooper, but the paratrooper doesn't help that much because he can't actually jump to where we want him to uh, because that island is only a single space. So that's really too bad. That's really too bad as we would like him to be able to jump another space. Whoa, there's no Sibirsk right there. Now there's a place I could put a bomber at. Let's go find that. Where's that bomber that we just uh, built? I remember it here. Oh, for Pete's sake, I know what you're thinking. Like, what's wrong with this guy? And I'll tell you, there's a lot wrong with me. Oh, there we go. Let's fly our bomber over to, uh, yeah, so at least he will be able to do something next turn. Which is right before when we attack. So let's go ahead and rest up here. Unfortunately, we are not on the offensive just yet. As much as we'd like to be. But uh, we'll get there. Don't worry. We'll bomb that stupid artillery. Because we know what that artillery likes to do. We saw him. He caused uh, the death of a number of our units, which is... Not usual for us, because we're used to dishing out all the death and destruction. Not taking it. Not being on the receiving end. And, uh... Alright. Yeah, keep pumping out those bombers. We love them. We all love them. We all scream for our strategic bomb. Not carpet bombing, by the way. I remember that term was brought up in the media. I can't remember when. But people were talking about carpet bombing. And basically using that as a, as a stand-in for just bombing, pretty much like we should bomb a lot of carpet bombing. But carpet bombing is, uh, has not been used in ages, and frankly it can't be used because nobody drops bombs like that anymore to where you're like, you've got a bunch of really um, inaccurate aircraft or inaccurate unguided bombs and you're just trying to bomb the whole thing. It's just, it's... It's a pretty counterproductive. And, uh, yeah, you just wouldn't do that. And we, like, uh, you used to have 1,000 thousand aircraft bombing raids back in World War II because it was such an obscene number of uh, aircraft and what have you. Because, you know, it was World War II after all, and World War II meant that uh, the whole country was, uh, they were at war, so... You know, you were going to town. But uh, that is not really the case anymore. Wars don't tend to be as uh, big and all-encompassing. They're, they could be big, but they're not like... Uh, I don't know then, maybe that's wrong. You know, Russia is definitely showing us a different type of war that we haven't seen in quite a while. Um, it's doing horribly at it which I guess is maybe a good argument why that type of war shouldn't be done anymore. Since, uh, the amount, you know, taking that kind of land and holding it and uh, dealing with a population that doesn't want you there, you know, it's just pretty unambiguous. It's, uh, it's a tough go. So it's probably a good argument for not doing that type of war anymore, uh, the current situation. Um, I mean, obviously, I hope I don't have to say this, I'm uh, completely against the war and uh, I was uh, pleasantly surprised at the way in which, uh, and that is going to sound crappy, right, but I was pleasantly surprised at the uh, Ukrainians did not roll over. Uh, and that sounds terrible. That makes it sound like, what, you thought Ukrainians didn't care enough about their homeland? And were no, I was just burnt by uh, what happened in Afghanistan. I didn't think the Afghans would, would roll over like that. I thought they'd have more fight in them. But uh, that was not correct. Obviously, right? And because of that, but because I was... Uh, kind of, because I was burnt by that, I was like, yes, I expect that people would fight very hard for their homelands, but, you know, that didn't happen in Afghanistan. Now, of course, they weren't fighting against foreigners, but what they were fighting against was uh, a group that uh, most people had, a pretty 
negative memories of, you know. So I was thinking that they would certainly put up a, a better fight than they did. Uh, or at the very least, the warlords, who I have no affection for, would defend their areas, you know. That the North wouldn't succumb to, uh, oh man. Yeah, that's my fault. Uh, that the North would not succumb to uh, the Taliban, that uh, Muhammad Atanur and uh, uh, Abdul Rashid Dustam could you know, rally their, their, their uh, ethnically aligned troops pretty much. But yeah, it didn't, it didn't work out. They were, they were uh, pretty much just rolled over. In fact, the first place to fall over, I can't remember, was it Fariyab? Yeah, it was Fariyab uh, province. I was the first uh, the provincial capital to fall, which was in the north, which was very weird. And I think at that point uh, my ears pricked up a bit, but I still wasn't expecting it to go so quickly. And then it did. So I was wrong in that one. I called that one 100% wrong. So uh, that's why when this, uh, when uh, the uh, who's his face is, when the Russians invaded, I was like, oh my God. You know, I hope I hope they put up a good fight. I didn't know how much of a fight they could put up. Because, you know, we, we think that Russia is pretty tough. Of course, that turned out to be incorrect, too. I mean, I had my inklings about Russia not being all that great. I mean, conscript militaries, for one, are never all that great. I mean, unless you're drafting people during a time of, like, disaster when your country is going to fall over. You know? Uh, unless you're drafting people during a time like that or during a time of like where the war is insanely popular and pretty much of course I'm waiting to get draft like you know like World War II like the draft worked fine because most people saw it as you know a duty to do something because things were hairy and the uh the what's his faces? They were nobody's sweethearts. The Nazis. Okay, good. All right, we shot down the last fighter, so now we can bomb with impunity. So we can make sure they don't have any whatever when we go after them. That's good. And of course, we eventually have to deal with that tank over there, but we'll we'll do it when the time comes. The only problem, of course, is that uh, now we will have to. We're gonna have to. We're gonna trash that town, obviously, because it's of no use to anybody. And that will cause issues, of course. Okay, here's Novosibirsk. And please bomb these guys for me, my bomber boys. You guys can't do anything, so that's fine. Just hang out. I keep thinking this is going to be over soon, but it's it's just really uh, grinding on now, isn't it? Even if I just sat back, I guess, and tried to build my spacecraft, I can't yet. Ah! Well, that's fine. Like I said, I can afford to be gracious. It's not really what I wanted to do. I would have taken the city. It wasn't a great city, but it was uh, somewhere I could base bombers out of, which is something. All right. What can I throw you at? Right there, right? No. The tank here, no. Fine, right there. Because, yeah, that's too bad, because now I have no... Uh, I have no RD to send up, or I have no, uh, I have no place to base my bombers at, which is kind of helpful since my air power is really clearing out a lot of the uh, riffraff for me. Oh well. So let's continue on here. Yeah. Let's say we should win that one. Yeah, I guess the hole is greater than some of us. And now we can build modern armor. Now we can also build uh, the SS casing. 
Uh, the spaceship casing, for God's sake. Not the... Yeah, that doesn't sound right. So let's go ahead and take a few of these guys. We need, we need five of them, by the way. And so let's take a few of these guys who are working on wealth and switch their wealth working to uh, SS casings. Where we got that right here? Tabriz, great city. We got 21 turns, you guys suck. 18 turns. Still kind of suck. All right. We don't even have the docking bay yet. Slow ass. There right. we go. Anything else? We done? Good. Okay. All right. All right. Well, let's just hold, hold. Don't you hold. We'll build our, our road to nowhere if you want. Get another source of stone there. Not like anybody really is uh, beating down our doors to have a source of stone. And we're at 21 minutes. All right. So see you later. Bye-bye.